Zara recently dropped some bangers for the fall season. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys every single piece I picked up recently, and you have to let me know which piece I should either keep or return. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I find that Zara has some bangers and some gems, especially for the fall and winter season. So I picked up a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys that not only I like, but I feel like you guys would like too. As I go through each piece, I'm gonna talk about why I picked it up, what I think about it, how I'd style it. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below which piece I should either keep or return. Cause I feel like I'm kind of on the fence about some of these pieces. So I need your opinion. I trust you guys. Cause if you watch me, if you like my style, I'm sure you guys kind of have the same style as well. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. So drop them in the comments down below after every single piece. As always, it gets chatty over here, so do what you have to do. Grab a snack, or grab a drink, and just relax with me for a bit. And without further ado, let's dive into this huge fall slash winter Zara haul. Real quick, before we get into the huge Zara haul, I wanna give a big thanks to Karma, formerly known as Shop Tiger, for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. If you guys are like me, I personally love online shopping all the time, but I always wanna make sure that I get the best bang for my buck, and I wanna make sure that I'm always catching the best deals, whether that be catching the item on sale, or if there's like some sort of like extra coupon code that I can use towards my purchase, I wanna make sure that I'm getting those said deals. So that is where Karma comes into play. Karma is super easy to use and it's free, all you guys have to do is just sign up for a Karma account and then you go ahead and you download this little web browser extension. So when you guys are shopping on your favorite websites like Zara, H&M, Cause, Farfetch, Essence, they have so much stores that you guys can shop from and they're affiliated with. You just go ahead and scroll, do your normal thing. And when you see an item that you like, go ahead and click that item and you can go ahead and use the Chrome extension from Karma. It will be located on the top right of your screen. Click that button and you can go ahead and save that item to your Karma wishlist and you can categorize and customize your karma wish list so much. You can create like mini lists within your karma wish list and you can save the item by like color, size, price point in which it drops, and all that good stuff. Karma also lets you know if an item ever A goes out of stock or B comes back in stock via push notifications through their mobile app as well as email notifications. And on top of doing all of that, they also have a few other amazing features. One of their new features is their cashback feature, which essentially if you shop through one of their affiliated websites, when you make a purchase, they will not only give you cash back for making that purchase, but they will also give cash back to a really good cause. And then to save you even more money and to go the extra mile, Karma also has a new feature where at the end of your checkout, right before you're about to pay, Karma will scan the whole entire internet web for additional and applicable coupon codes to your purchase to make sure that you are getting the best deal on the said pieces that you are wanting to buy. If you love shopping, if you like getting the best deals, especially with the holidays coming out, there's going to be so much sales. Karma is definitely definitely the online shopping tool for you. I like to kind of think about it as like a online shopping virtual assistant. So if you guys are interested and you want to, again, start saving money, start shopping more smartly, I would definitely recommend using Karma. Go ahead and download it and do yourself a favor. It'll be the first link in my description box down below. And much love once again to Karma, formerly known as Shop Tiger, for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. All right, so starting off with the key and prime and just like, I guess, star piece of this whole entire haul, it is this overshirt style jacket right here. As you can see, it is a very unique and interesting color combo and pattern. It's in this really interesting, almost kind of like wool felt like material. It features like pops of greens, yellows, grays, whites, and it's almost kind of like in this faded plaid sort of pattern. I personally really like this guy and I feel like it's gonna be a really good layering piece for the fall and winter season. This bad boy right here was definitely expensive. It, I think it was close to $100. And what I will say is even though I really like it and I probably will keep it, but again, let me know in the comments down below if you would keep it or return it. I personally don't think it's worth almost $100. As you can see, it's not lined on the inside. It's essentially just one big piece of fabric. And if you were to cop this piece yourself, you would understand what I say and what I mean when I say it's not heavyweight or it's not lined. Like it's literally super light. And so I feel like that's kind of the only con when it comes to this overshirt right here. But nonetheless, I feel like it's a really nice pop of color for the fall season and it definitely will make for a really nice kind of like outfit for the gram if you guys aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok definitely be sure to do so it's my name i'll throw it up on the screen something i love about zara is that they always have really good overshirts for the fall and winter season so even though you don't like this one there's a ton of other ones on the website as well and i'll be sure to link some of my other favorites from there first off this piece right here definitely a banger 
I'm currently drinking a grande iced pumpkin cream, cold foam or cold brew, whatever from Starbucks. Let me know if you guys like pumpkin, if you like cold foam, if you like cold brews or just drop a comment down below. Let me know basically your coffee order. Recently, I've been really into navy blue or shades of blue. And so this next piece right here is definitely another fire piece that I will be getting a ton of wear out of for the fall season. It is this very interesting textured sweater in this really nice deep navy blue color. As you guys can see, the fabric almost kind of resembles like a boucle like material or kind of like a compact wool. Like if you were to grab wool and like bunch it up, that's kind of what the fabric resembles. I really like this piece for another pop of color as well as it can make for a really great layering piece. Just what I said about the previous overshirt this sweater does come in other colors as well and it retailed for $49.90 and for Zara especially when it comes to like the quality because I feel like sometimes with Zara it's definitely a hit or miss and this piece right here is definitely a hit if you guys are a fan of cold bucks it reminds me of one of the wool sweaters that they just recently dropped definitely nowhere in comparison in regards to like the quality I'm sure but if you're just talking about aesthetics and fit and kind of look this sweater right here is definitely a good affordable alternative like I said it does come in a ton of other colors and I did size up on it intentionally to get that really nice oversized fit. But let me know in the comments down below if you would either keep this or return this. A trend that I've been seeing a lot recently is a sweater vest. And I picked up one from Zara, which is this guy right here. It is in this very like interesting, oh, sorry. I'm mixing it up with the knit sweater, which I'll get to in a second, but essentially it's an oversized sweater vest in this really nice, like kind of warm tone gray color. I picked this up and this is one of the pieces that I'm kind of on the fence about. I still really like it as a standalone piece. And I feel like when I see other people wearing sweater vests, I feel like it's a vibe, you know, I feel like I can see kind of where they were going with that outfit, but I just feel like me personally, I don't know if it looks looks good on me or if it doesn't. So you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below. Be brutally honest. I wanna hear your opinion. Like I said, this is a keep or return video. So I really wanna know what your thoughts are. This retailed for $49.90 and it came in two different sizes. It came in a small to medium and a large to extra large. So I picked it up in a large to extra large because I feel like with the Zara pieces, their sizing tends to run a little bit small. So one of my pro tips when it comes to shopping on Zara would definitely be to size up always because you can always act as if it was intentional with an oversized look. But if it's too tight, Tight, it's just gonna look a little off but yeah let me know in the comments down below your thoughts um as for the quality it is pretty nice and it is it does have a really nice weight to it especially for like that 49 dollars price range i can definitely see myself wearing this with maybe like a collar shirt underneath or maybe just like a plain t-shirt and then having like a trench coat or an overcoat of some sort draped over with maybe like a scarf or something all right, so this right here is the sweater version of that sweater vest. This one right here features a really deep V-neck in the front. So if that's not your vibe, I don't think you're gonna like this piece and you're probably gonna tell me to return it. But going back to the actual piece right here, this retailed for $49.90. So I feel like that's definitely a good steal because as you guys can see from just me holding it up and the bureau clips, it does have a lot of weight to it, which is really nice. The fabric feels really like heavyweight and really good quality. I can definitely see myself styling this with just a simple basic tee underneath, some really great like slouchy, pants and then like a really good chunky sneaker and some sort of trench coat over with like a hat i really like this color it's very deep and worn and it just gives me like all the cozy vibes for this time of the year it kind of resembles like that ami leon dore vibe kind of like leaning a little bit preppy but then styling it and pairing it with more like modern or streetwear elements to kind of make sure that it doesn't lean too like preppy and too school like and uniform like zara also on top of making really great overshirts for the fall and winter season they make really good sweaters too so definitely check them out um like i said i'll have links to every thing down below. So besides the overcoat, this piece right here, hands down, is another one of my favorites from this whole entire haul. It is this essentially puffy vest. It's actually not that puffy in contrast to like the website images, which was kind of like a letdown when I got it. But nonetheless, it's still a really great layering piece. And I will be keeping this 100% for a fact. One, because I already wore it out. And two, I feel like even though it wasn't as puffy as I thought it was, it still kind of gives me the vibes of like a puffy vest. Zara is offering a ton of vests just like this on their website. So if you don't like this one they have some other options as well the reason why i wanted this piece right here is because it reminds me a lot of the cole buxton vest that they recently dropped it doesn't compare in regards to quality but if you're just talking about like aesthetics and like styling and stuff it's definitely similar and comparable i probably still will get the cole buxton one because i do like how that one is hella puffy but again if you're just looking for a more affordable alternative this one is definitely a hit this retailed for 45.90 and i think for the price and just kind of the way that it fit and stuff i really like it i did pick it up in an extra large 
large because I intentionally wanted to make sure that it would sit really nicely over the other layers that I plan to wear during the fall season. I feel like this over a really nice hoodie, a basic tee underneath, some rings, a hat or a fisherman beanie, some pants, and then maybe like some boots. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are wearing sweater vests, or sorry, not sweater vests, if you guys are wearing like whatever this is called, like just regular vests, I guess. Let me know if you're wearing this for this colder season. And let me know if you got this in the mail, would you keep it or would you return it? All right, you guys, I got a couple more pieces and I feel like these last two pieces are definitely bangers as well. If you're trying to come through with that casual fleck for the fall season, these two pieces right here are definitely hits. These pants right here, if you guys have been watching or watched my summer content, you would know that Zara recently came out with their own version of the Umplice Isimiyaki pants. If you guys like the Isimiyaki vibes, but you don't have the Isimiyaki check, which is totally fine. Those pleated pants are super expensive, although really nice. They do come with a nice price tag. So if you're not trying to spend that big check on some pleated pants, Zara did come out with her own version. In regard to the quality, it's definitely not the same. Like for those of you guys who have the Isimiyaki pants, you know what it is. Those pleats are heavy. They're really nice. And this is what I would like to say is just a really good affordable alternative. You can't compare the quality, but you can compare the aesthetics. And this aesthetic right here is definitely on par. Something I don't like about the Zara version though, is that at least with these pants right here, the drawstrings are on the outside and kind of like in the front, which I don't like because I like to tuck my garments into these kind of pants and I don't want to see the drawstring. So that's kind of like the only con, but in regards to like the price and the overall quality for Zara, I definitely think it's worth it. All right, future me popping in to this video right here to explain why there's no b-roll long story short the pants didn't fit i do think that they are really nice and i probably will return it for the right size um but yeah they just didn't fit so if you're wondering if you wanted to get these pants but you want to make sure you get the right size i am around 5 8 around 160 pounds and i got a size medium and they do like they did fit but they were just a little too like slim or they just weren't like i don't know it just didn't fall exactly how i wanted it to because the intention with these pants is you want it to look like flowy and like relaxed and like just not not tight you know so so my advice would be to size up if you are around the same kind of like measurements as i am all right, you guys, and then real quick, the last piece that I wanted to mention is actually the hat that I have on right now. So if you guys are regulars, you already know what it is. I am always wearing some sort of hat or headwear in all of my videos. I feel like I just got a fresh fade today and it's just one of those things, like a hat just completes any outfit, at least for me. If you are looking for a really good quality, comes in a ton of color hat, this option right here is definitely it. It's just a black one that I have right now, but they do offer a blue one, a white one, and I think they have like a kind of like khaki color. I think it's around like 1990 or something like that. Definitely a good steel the quality on this hat is insane and i think if i had like an extra check or something i probably would get like multiple of each color because like i said this is probably the best fitting hat that i've ever got from any retailer so i would definitely pick up this hat if you are looking for just like a simple accessory to top off all of your fall and winter outfits all right, you guys, and that is it for my huge Zara haul featuring some fall and winter jams that I personally will be wearing this season. You have to let me know in the comments down below which piece you liked, which piece you would keep or return. Like I said throughout my video, I'm kind of like iffy on some of the pieces, so you'll have to stay tuned over on my Instagram to see which outfits and which pieces I kind of like come up with and which pieces I kept. Again, my Instagram and my TikTok is just my name. I'll throw it up on the screen. It makes no sense because I have like over 120,000 followers on YouTube and I have like barely 25,000 on Instagram it's like not adding up so i need you guys to run it up that way much love once again to karma formerly known as a shop tagger for sponsoring today's video they have saved me so much money and i know for a fact if you guys like online shopping and if you like getting the best deals you will definitely benefit from using karma if you're interested go ahead and download and start using karma it'll be the first link in my description box down below and much love once again to them for sponsoring today's video but yeah i think that's it so hopefully you guys are all having a good day so far thank you so much for watching as always if you made it this far you are most definitely a real one and and stay tuned because the video after this i have a little announcement i designed and came out with something in collaboration with another brand so i'm really excited for you guys to see it and i think um, you guys are really gonna like it so stay tuned for that video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace